Hey guys, Angus here. Got another Airsoft product review for you guys today. You guys have seen the review of the LCAN, the G&G F2000, but there is a piece on here you guys have not seen a review of, and that would be my classic JBU 4.75 inch mock suppressor for your Airsoft replica. I always have this on my different guns. A lot of people tend to ask questions about it, so I figured I'd go ahead and just post a basic overview. Now, first things first, if you guys are interested in purchasing this specific suppressor or many more, there'll be a link down below in the description to airsoftstation.com where you can buy this product for about $28. Now, with that being said, let me go over some basic things about the airsoft suppressors. First off, obviously, they don't really silence your weapons. They're not going to make it sound different. I could shoot this F2000 with the suppressor off and then shoot it with it on, and it sounds basically the same. Maybe a slight bit quieter because the BB is getting a little bit muffled, but otherwise, really, suppressors do not actually suppress your airsoft weapons unless you want to get into, say, a non-blowback pistol where it might alter the sound a slight bit. What these are more so practical for is aftermarket upgrades. You want to make your gun look awesome, which let's, let's admit the F2000 does look pretty cool here. You want to take that orange tip off, put a nice suppressor on there, make it look like a cooler airsoft weapon when you're on the field. You can do that with these suppressors. Also, people who tend to do upgrades to their guns, say they want a longer, tight bore barrel inside their weapon. That barrel sticks out the front of their gun. They can use these suppressors to conceal that so it doesn't look ugly where you have the tip of the gun and then a big silver barrel sticking out a couple extra inches. So those are practical uses for these suppressors. In my case, I just have it there so the gun looks cool, frankly. Taking a little bit closer look at the suppressor here, it is entirely made of metal. This isn't a plastic suppressor. It's made of a solid quality metal, as you can see, painted a nice blackish gray. Uh, a little bit of scratches and dings on here. That's because I've had it for over a year. As you can see, that time period has held up rather well, especially the writing here, painted in the same nice bright white writing it originally was. It says JBU 4.75 inch suppressor. Really nothing special, but hey, it's nice that it held up uh, for this long of a time period. Now, unlike other suppressors that are filled with foam, this one is hollow, uh, nothing inside of it, just two pieces of metal screwed in and attached to each other. Uh, on the right side here, you can basically begin to start to th see the threading on the inside of the suppressor. It's only threaded on one side for 14 millimeter counterclockwise airsoft replicas. Some suppressors will have other threading on the back here that would be a counter that would be a clockwise thread pardon me uh, however in this case it only does have the one threading for the 14 millimeter counterclockwise weapons so you get one option to put this gun on luckily it is the more common threading for the airsoft replicas out there but the quality of the suppressor is actually pretty nice now when you go to put the suppressor on you simply want to line it up obviously with the threaded end on the weapons threads and since it is a counterclockwise thread, you want to turn it counterclockwise or anti-clockwise, depending on what you want to call it. You tighten that all the way down until it's almost as tight as you can go. I wouldn't recommend you tighten it all the way because then it tends to be pretty difficult to come off. And since this isn't a foam filled one, it's just two pieces stuck together, you can actually break the suppressor apart if you tighten it on there too much. If you wanted to remove it, you'd simply turn it in the opposite direction. In this case, you would turn it clockwise uh, in order to remove the suppressor. But overall, this is a rather nice suppressor, and if you guys are interested just getting a nice piece to make your gun look a little bit cooler, maybe hide a longer inner barrel, it's really up to you guys. It's not a necessary accessory, but it does look pretty cool. So with that being said, this has been Death Career Soft's overview of the JBU 4.75 inch mock suppressor for your Airsoft AEG. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe.